Hey guys, day five. If you're actually watching this video today on December 25th, give yourself a pat on the back because today is Christmas and you're on YouTube watching me. So, honored. Thanks, thanks for tuning in today if you're actually watching on December 25th, 2014. Um, most people in life take action by default. They wake up, they go about their day in the routine way they've always done. They go to the same building, they call the same person, they get in the same car, they eat the same breakfast, they do what they've always done. And Christmas is, um, is usually like that. Christmas for sure is a time of tradition, people living by default. Now in this video I really want to talk about action. It's the, it's the fifth thing that you can do in these 10 days. And um, most people, they, they, when, they, when they set a goal and they have this idea for themselves, they want to take action right away. And it actually may look like that on the outside. It may look like they just they just they just start taking action. But really, what 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 people do when they take action? First, they decide to do it, and then they they have an idea of what it looks like. They have this vision of it, and then they 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 focus on it for a bit, maybe only a few seconds, and then they get this this feeling, this urge to to do it, and then they just go do it and they take action. So today is all about taking action, but it's taking specific action. It's taking appropriate action. Now, the brand Nike, very famous brand, their slogan, their tagline, just do it. Everybody loves action. It's, it's, a, it's a really easy way of, of selling things to people. Um, if, you can, if you can make someone take action, you can guarantee they're going to get some sort of result. And most people, they want results in life. So you're not going to get results unless you take action. So Earl Nightingale, one of my mentors in life, always said, ideas are worthless without action. So you can have an idea to write a book, but until you write the book, it's, it's just an idea. It's not going to be worth anything. You can have an idea to climb a mountain, but unless you actually climb the mountain, you're not going to be worth anything. You just have an idea. You can have an idea to, to raise a family and get some kids, but unless you actually make the family happen and raise the kids, it's, it's not worth anything. It's just an idea. So ideas are worthless without action. But how do you make sure that you, you actually take action? How do you make sure that you actually, you actually stick to it and continue to take action until you get the results that you desire? That's what this video is about. And it really comes down to making it so the action is effortless. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean taking inspired action initially, and then once you get going, once you take action a few times, it's so much easier to keep it going, even when you're not inspired later down the road. Like today I need to go swim. I say need to because I don't really want to. It was kind of cold first thing in the morning, but I'm going to anyway. I've done it every day for the past 30 days. So. It's so easy for me to get in the pool anyway, despite it being cold. I just do it. I just Nike it. I just do it. Um, I was inspired as hell at the beginning. I was swimming twice a day. I'm still swimming twice a day for the most part. But now it's like it's cold. I don't really want to swim. But I'm going to do it anyway because it's so easy for me to do. And I still have this vision. I still have these goals. And I have the feeling of myself already having achieved those goals. So I'm just going and going with the flow. I'm going to go swim anyway. Um, so... Everyone loves to take action, but so few people do it. Why is that? Well, because most people don't have a set successful routine. They haven't set up a successful routine for themselves. And routines, if when, you, when, you, when you have a routine, it allows your positive actions to flourish. And when your positive actions flourish, when you're constantly taking these positive actions, they become habits. And with habits... You craft excellence. You can live an excellent life if your habits are excellent, but you can only really craft. You can only really have these form these habits when when you when you have a routine set up. So, when I wake up, I do the same thing every morning. I eat around the same time every morning. I go work out around the same time every morning. When I come back from the workout, I recover in the same sort of way each time, and then I do some more work, and then I do another recovery, another workout, and then I recover, and then my day is very routine like like I'm making these these videos almost at the same time every day and I've intentionally done that I'm intentionally trying to do the same things at the same time every day because I know that every every time I make a video it's going to be easier to make another video every time I go swim it's going to be easier to swim again every time I go to the track and do a hard run session it's going to be easier for me to do that again so most people don't take action towards their goals because it's very hard to do it in the first place it's very hard to make it that, that first action step if you're a person who um who always leaves the cupboards open when you're in the kitchen, it's very hard for you to actually close them the first time. But when you close them the first time, and you close them again the second time, it's so easy to start closing the cupboards in the third and fourth and fifth time. 
You just do it once, do it once, do it once, and then next thing you know, it's a habit. So it's that first action step that's the hardest. And if you can just do whatever in the direction, take an action in, in the direction of your goal, then you're going to be so much better off. So first you make the decision, yes, today I'm going to take action. Then you have the vision of what that action is going to look like. You actually create the vision. You can actually see yourself doing the thing you want to do. For me, it's getting in the pool this morning. And then you get the feeling of what that's going to feel like because the vision is so real, actually elicits a feeling. So for me right now, I always jump in the deep end of the pool first and I sink all the way to the bottom, touch the bottom, jump back up and swim and I'm really, really cold. But then I just start swimming right away really, really fast to get to get warmed up. So I already know I can see that happening. I can feel the cold water over my skin already. And um, now it's just going to require me to focus on on that vision until I actually go and do it, which is going to be around 9 o'clock in 45 minutes. So I'm going to keep focusing on that, focusing on that, focusing, focusing on that. And after a while though, after a, uh, after a few months of me doing this, I'm not going to have to think too much about it. It's going to become very easy. So action becomes effortless when you take it initially when you're, in, when you're inspired. And then after so many months, weeks, and years of doing it, it's, it's a habit. You don't even think about it and it's even more effortless than taking inspired action because you don't you're not even conscious of it. So I'm eating these amazing papayas here, but I didn't have to consciously think too much about that. Oh, I'm going to have papaya today instead of beans and rice and pork and whatever else that anyone else is having on Christmas, pancakes, bacon. I don't have to think about that. And I really don't even have a choice now. It's just set up for me in my life. It's just having a papaya. So it wasn't like that always though. Initially the action, it was a kind of a pain in the arse. I had to go to the grocery store and buy the food and you know, try not to eat all the other food everyone else is eating, but now it's, I don't even think about it. So everybody loves action, but so few people actually take it. And it really helps if you just don't even think about how you're going to make something happen. You just do it. People ask me, Ted, how are you living in Thailand right now? Ted, how do you, how do you eat a fruitarian diet? Ted, how do you train so much for triathlon? If I thought about those things before I actually did them, I wouldn't do them. I just figured, hey, I'm going to Thailand. I'm going to make it happen. I say, hey, I'm going to eat a fruitarian diet. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to do Ironman triathlon. I'm going to make it happen. I want to, I want to, my goal right now is to race professionally triathlon. To race triathlon professionally. And I don't know how exactly my workouts are going to pan out. I don't know how exactly the races are going to pan out. I don't know how the results are going to stack up. But I'm just going to go for it. I don't know how. I'm just going to go for it. And that's the way I've always lived my life. That's the way I love living my life. It's very exciting this way. Because if I stop and think about how, like how, how am I going to earn all this money? I have a goal of earning many thousands of dollars every year. And I don't know how exactly I'm going to do it. But I have a really good feeling that I'm going to do it. Because... I have the vision, I can feel it, I know that whatever I can imagine, whatever I can feel is actually real on some plane, that's just for me, to, it's up to me to actually realize that. So if, if, what if I spent my time thinking about how I'm going to make it happen, I don't know how, I'd get kind of stressed out, maybe a little anxious, maybe a little worried that maybe start, start doubting myself because I can't see how. And when you can't see something, when you don't have a vision for it, you can't make it happen. So you get kind of frustrated. So if someone told me, if someone asked me to, Ted, can you um, can you earn earn a million dollars tomorrow and tell me how you're going to do that within the next five minutes? I'd have a tough time doing that. But if someone had a gun to my head and said, Ted, earn a million dollars tomorrow or I'm going to kill you, you're pretty sure I'd come back with a million bucks because I wouldn't want to die. No matter what, I would earn that million bucks. I'd go beg, plead, borrow, steal, whatever I could to get the million bucks because I wouldn't want to die. So no matter what, I would get it. But if I had to tell the person how I was going to get it, man, I wouldn't really know how. Just let me figure it out as I go. So you don't really ask a child how they're going to learn to walk or how to walk. They just they just start walking. They just figure it out along the way. So instead of being instead of um, aiming and firing, just fire and then aim as as you're going. We live our lives like heat-seeking missiles. So we have the cybernetic mechanism within us that whatever vision we hold in the forefront of our mind, we're going to realize it. So most of our life, we, we, if we have a goal here and we're here, most of our life we're going to, going to be off track. But our cybernetic mechanism is going to keep us on track the whole time. So when they send a rocket ship to the moon, or when they send any rocket to any planet, 
there's that destination in mind with with the rocket. And for eighty percent of the course, the rocket is actually off track. It's going off track, but the cybernetic mechanism keeps guiding it, keeps guiding it back on track, back on track, back on track, because it has the vision installed, we have the vision installed, and it gets to that destination no matter what. So having a vision is like having those rails on the on the bowling on the bowling aisle. It just keeps the bowling ball on track, and eventually it's going to hit the pins. So um, just take action, figure it out along the way, and have fun with it. If action is the funnest part. And you can start by taking action right now just by going this in front of the mirror. By going, yes, yes, yes. That very act of acting right there, that's action. And you can be, um, you can be stoked that you just took some action just from doing that. You watching this video right now is a, an example of taking action. Because it's helping you, it's reminding you of the fact that you can do whatever you set your mind to. But you've got to set your mind to something. And you do whatever you set your mind to. It's no longer a matter of you can do whatever you set your mind to. It's... You do whatever you set your mind to. So set your mind to something great, have the vision, focus on it, elicit that feeling, and take action with that feeling. Um, the more I think about the swim now, the more I just want to go out and swim. Like, the, more, the more you focus on something, the more feeling you get, and eventually you just got to take action on that feeling. So have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you on day six tomorrow for another really cool video. Ciao, thanks for watching, peace, peace. Subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions and uh, look forward to making more videos with you guys. Adios.